Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my video on my Balaguer Custom Toro. Let's get into it. So what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name is Ray. I'm a guitar player here on YouTube and yeah man, this month has been absolutely amazing showcasing these Balaguer guitars and this is the second one in the shoot today and uh, I just can't wait to dive in, tell you guys the story of why I built it and made it look this way and uh, just talk about how it sounds and all the above. Do a usual demo and review, right? So why does this guitar look this way? Why did I build it this way? All the above, right? What's the story behind this thing? Well, if you guys saw when I brought this guitar home in about 03, 04, 05, I said I became obsessed with the electric guitar. And there's one guitar in particular that really stood out, and that was this guitar right here. Here's a screen grab. And this is actually one of Richie Sambora's signature guitars that he was playing in a VHS ta tape that my dad and I owned called An Evening with Bon Jovi. And I love that, that, that performance. It's one of my favorite live performances of all time. But anyway... I just remember seeing that guitar specifically and being obsessed with it. So this guitar right here, it's, I think my voice is cracked. <laughs> uh, this guitar right here is just like a throwback, an homage to like when I first became a guitar player as a little boy, even before I became playing, you know, a guitar player, before I started playing guitar, um, I really just love this aesthetic and this vibe of this guitar. So this is where this vibe comes from. So the specs for this guitar, 25 and a half inch scale, ebony board, 24 jumbo stainless steel frets, block inlays. We have a Blackhawk from Bare Knuckle in the bridge and then two Balaguer guitar single coils, master volume, master tone. That's super rad. This was uh, got a push pull pot on there. We have a five way bolt on construction, roasted maple neck locking tuners. I think it's everything. <laughs> Maple top if I didn't say that, I don't know man, it's just all specced out to the max, right? But enough talking about it, now you guys heard the demo song, you guys heard me jamming, I'm using my head rush for this video, um, as my tube rig is like, getting ready to leave this coming week. So anyway man, yeah, I'm just gonna just pull up some patches on the head rush and just jam with this real quick, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about this guitar, my overall summary with it, okay? <laughs> So everybody, that's everything I can show you with this guitar, man. I obviously love it as I built it and designed it myself. I'm so honored to be on the Balaguer Guitars team. But um, one thing I will say, I don't know if I really am, um, I'm I'm not used to the bare knuckle Blackhawk. So I gotta do some um, tweaking and um, reconfiguring with my, my setup with this pickup in particular. Now, upon looking at the bare knuckle website, this Blackhawk is very trebly and very high end E, a lot of treble. Um, in that in that pickup, excuse me, in this pickup. So um, again, I just gotta you know tamper my 
expectations of what I previously think my settings should be, because this guitar has a lot of output, but it also has a lot of high end. So just, you know, simple way to counter that, roll back the tone a little bit, roll back the treble on my amplifier, etc. man. But overall, man, a lot of bite and a lot of cut in this guitar um, really does that very well, especially with my tube rig, um, my analog rig, my real amplifiers, whatever. And I'll be sure to document that in a later date. Uh, but for right now, I just wanted to get a quick little video out using the head rush, man. And uh, I just love this guitar, man. Apart from the sound, feels great, plays great. Battle Gear Guitars makes amazing guitars. There's a hip shot bridge on this thing I forgot to mention. Um, but the hip shot bridge, just match that with just the Battle Gear Guitars. D profile, roasted maple neck. Just, it plays like a dream, man. It really does. And Battle Gear Guitars just kills it. And um, I'm just very honored to, uh, you know, even own this thing and call it mine. So everybody, this is my second Toro that I own, and um, just what an honor, what an absolute dream to be a part of the team. This guitar was built as a more, you know, not 30-inch baritone vibe. This is a more like normal guitar vibe, um, because I play both genres and styles, you know, drop F, drop G, as well as standard tuning, drop C sharp and drop D. So, you know, this guitar is set up in drop C sharp right now, and it's my more like, you know, this like I said, normal types of vibes with the guitar. So everybody, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this guitar and enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it, man. Um, and be sure to look out for this thing in the very near future. So everybody, huge shout out to Ballad Gear Guitars and huge shout out to you. Yes, you watching at home. I'm out of here, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay metal. I'll see you guys next time. Later.